there is extreme volatility in the market right now. Today, November 5th, 2024, the day of the election in the US, I advise my subscribers and whoever is going to see this video to avoid trading for the next few days. There's a lot of talk about the election trade. A lot of people are trying to front run who's going to win. Place bet on that, play trades on that without leverage, with leverage. And what I'm telling you guys and girls today is to avoid leverage at all, completely. And even do not trade for the next few days. It's going to be extremely volatile to the upside, to the downside. Probably you're going to see multiple wicks up and back to the mean, down and up to the mean. And that would be liquidation cycles. One, two, three, four, I don't know how many there are going to be. Please avoid trading. If you don't want to lose money, the only thing that I advise is doing research and also buying Bitcoin on dips on low prices if you see very big dips in price if you still have some dry powder buy the dip that's the only thing that i could tell you nothing else i believe that this election trade that everybody's talking or predicting who's going to win will not work there are too many variables and potentially if the election is tight this could drag on for a couple of weeks still. So please avoid getting into trades and losing money for nothing in the next few days. It's pointless. Wait until the dust settle, have a winner or an idea at least of probably a winner. There could be violence in the US. There could be all kinds of things happening. Please avoid trading. Why am I showing you this chart from macro micro is the bitcoin price versus the m1 money supply and why i'm showing you this it's because of its correlation with the bitcoin price so when the money supply when the bitcoin to money supply goes up bitcoin goes up generally and when it comes down generally it comes down so there's quite a close relationship between M1 money supply and the Bitcoin price that I believe is 1000 times more important than who's going to win the election. Now you see that the blue line here is flat and the Bitcoin price is flat. When we were going upwards, the price of Bitcoin was going upwards. When we're going downwards here, we're going down here. So there's a correlation here. I'm following the M1 supply. Others are following the M2 supply that has a slight correlation, but it has like a window where one of them continues to go up and the other starts correcting. And it's not as tight a correlation as this one. So this is way more important than the election. Another point that many new people need to look into is that it's not a coincidence that the halving always falls on a presidential year and also matches generally the supply cycles. So every single halving that we will see in the future will fall on election day and will have the same scrutiny as we see right now. It will also have the same volatility as we see right now unless there's a clear, clear candidate for whatever year. But the last three cycles have had an election year, have had their uncertainty, and we have followed always the same pattern of the exponential phase of Bitcoin is around the corner every single time. Do I believe it's going to change this year? No, it's going to be exactly the same thing. That's why I'm not putting a lot of emphasis on the presidential election. Black Swan's event, like the health issue that we had a few years back, well, that has a big impact on the market. But it's a Black Swan event. It doesn't happen every year. Here, the election is always on the same period, post-having, 
for the next for all the next halvings actually all of them will be the same thing unless the u.s changes its cycles of elections which i don't believe they will do so it's always going to match but i wanted to show you guys this chart just to give you a perspective of something that has nothing to do with the election and has way more correlation with bitcoin so please don't trade be patient and also look out for a next key date which is going to be november 6 and november 7 which is only a few days from now read a little bit about the fomc meeting why because the fed will probably tell everybody what it's going to do for the next few months and that also has a bigger influence on the market more than the election and as everybody's focused on the election probably not a lot of people are going to look and listen to the outcomes of the fomc meeting of the fed for the next week or so please be patient avoid trading wait until volatility goes away and you see a clear trend potentially upwards we won't know but at least a diminishing volatility period after that you can start trading if you like and you will have way more success than today in the next few days because it's going to be volatile again especially if there's a contested election if it's too tight if it's clearly clearly on one side or the other it could help it could help diminish volatility quicker or quickly it could help to get volatility down to normal levels faster i would say so this is my advice for the next few days listen to the fomc meeting read the documents it's going to give us an information as to what the fed will do for the next few weeks and months and also there's another meeting right after that on december 17 and december 18 of this year so these are two key dates follow this chart the bitcoin price m1 supply and avoid leverage for the next week or so unless you want to lose some money